do you marvel at the, the sheer number of uh, tools that have emerged yeah, yeah. since the 60s? That's amazing, yeah. When I started a piece for solo soprano and computer, I decided I'd make an interactive piece. Okay, I big, sat down and started to use Max MSP, which I had not used before. But I thought, okay, that I was told that's a good programming platform for interaction. Now, okay, first I'm going to have to build a complicated reverberator because that's what I had to do for my early pieces back when we did software synthesis. And uh, so I looked, and there it was, a beautiful reverberator already done by someone. There was like days of work that I could just grab it, tune it to my own ear, what I wanted, and uh, that was amazing to me. So I wrote a, a little note to this programmer, just told him how meaningful it was to me that in this interim, all this was done. I th said, I'll give you a signed copy of my FM paper, just as a, he didn't even know about FM, or that me and FM. I mean, he, he's some guy who picked up the program, learned to use it, and he did this amazing thing, this fully fleshed out four-channel reverberator system that was amazing. So I realized that this community is one of the things that has resulted from this uh, incredible growth of software synthesis and and uh, people talk to one another and communicate with one another. Late at night, you can be working and talk to somebody in Bulgaria, who knows where, who has the answer to your question. 